Now you have these three terms. Desirability, viability, feasibility. So please remember, if I am uh, allowed, I will take a test. <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether the person will allow me. <laughs> okay, I am telling you these three, these three words now. Desirability, viability, feasibility. Desirability is ability to make feel good. If you empathize, you should have the ability to make feel good. Otherwise, no use. Right? Viability, ability to work and survive. Suppose you have desirability, but you are not able to uh, do the work. Then what is the use? No, I will say, Papa, I want to help him, but I don't have anything to help him. Right? Then, feasibility is ability to do it conveniently. Because if I do once, I should be able to do it many times. Is that clear? So design thinking will have desirability, which is human. Viability, business. Feasibility, technical. Do we agree? And you see, in all this, you have the image. Right? I hope it is clear. Desirability, where the human human uh, person or human feelings are involved. Viability, business. Feasibility, technical. Ability to work conveniently, ability to make feel good, ability to work and survive. So you have what is called innovation. Okay. Now, yeah, I will start with this because this was taught to us a very simple example to understand what is innovation, what is desirability, feasibility, and other things. Okay. Now, Potter's wheel was invented, I would say, invented or discovered 5000 BC. And do you know how many of you know that Potter's wheel was the first wheel? Before the transport wheel, everybody thinks the transport wheel was the first uh, discovery. No, it was the potter's wheel. Looking at the potter, somebody thought that we can use this wheel for stone, round stone, which is having an axle. You move it, put mud on that, and you shape it, you get a pot. Right? So pot, it, pot, it seems, is more, uh, it's having a uh, later history than the wheel, than the automobiles. So pots were there before the automobiles came. Automobile means that bullock cart or whatever, or that, uh, that, uh, that cart and all that. So that was there. Now, for the potter, that person had viability, desirability, feasibility. How? Because he had that, he was able to do business. Okay? For example, Viability is ability to do work. Desirability is ability to make feel good. How? When the potter was able to transform that mud into a pot, people came to him and said, hey, can you make this pot in a different shape? I want a glass of water. Or can you make a big pot? I want to keep that pot in my house. Or can you make a design that I will keep it in my house which will look nice? No? That is what? That is ability to make feel good. So he said, yes, maybe I can do it. And was he able to do it? Yes. Then, was he able to do it conveniently? Yes. It became a business. So you have many potters who were able to make various kinds of pots. For example, feasibility, viability, desirability like that. Now I don't think many pots are there. In our city we don't have. But you have those uh, mud pots which are having all designs and we are using, it, using them as show pieces. Right? So everywhere you see there is Viability, desirability, feasibility. That's how the potter's business became very successful. Of course, now it has been uh, uh, this thing by steel or other uh, porcelain and other things. But this is one thing that which, which we have to understand that it has helped us in. How do I go back? It has helped us in viability, desirability, and feasibility. And when these three are together, we get what is called innovation. So, what, uh, what is innovation then? We should be able to hear, understand, feel. We should be able to create. We should be able to deliver. So, again your desirability, feasibility and uh, your, uh, what is the other one? Viability. Yes? Hear, create, deliver. I am telling here, it should be see, feel, everything. Right? For example, So this is human-centered thinking, 
when we say this here uh, feel and create so here is what empathize define understand for example the potter he had his business but he was able to hear to people listen to people feel feel the people that yes they want this and he had to understand it and define the problem correct that these people want a big pot this one wants a glass this one wants a this and all so you have to define the problem right then once you define the problem you should be able to create it create what do you need you need what is called ideate and prototype again two more words ideate i have told you prototype right then once you are having prototype means it could be anything prototype can be a sketch can be a paper uh, model anything right then deliver when you deliver what do you do implement improve and validate and what are we doing discover define develop deliver these are these are called three four d's of design thinking you have to discover you have to define you have to develop and you have to deliver right okay. then you have to go back to this this is another thing so i told you design thinking three things what now this design thinking has now five steps three things which are required and five steps five steps are empathize define idea prototype test where you have understand create deliver and this is very important anywhere you think about innovation and the design thinking you will see these steps understand define create have a prototype and then only deliver so these are the steps which begin with empathy and with testing right for example empathy was the medicine is built up product was a nano film or a patch can we say that no okay now let's see i want to do this uh, with you because uh, you should understand what are these uh, steps first is what empathize what is empathize hear see understand and all what do you understand observe listen understand your end user now in pharmacy what happens is the end user is a doctor or end user is end product is a product now of late last 10 to 20 years end user is a patient earlier nobody would ask the patient no most of the pharmaceutical companies would go to the doctor give all the gifts to the doctor and ask what is your problem nobody would go to the patient now we know the patient is the center patient has to be asked right so observe and uh, understand your end user first is decide who is your end user right then why you should get a clear picture of the challenge no like for example if i say Uh, which example shall I take? Uh, say I I I will because uh, I have not started that. I just started about the selfie. So what, what? Why? Because he said, okay, what is your problem? I want a picture of myself. So get a clear picture. He wants a picture because he wants to feel good, right? So that is why. What needs and expectations must be met? Met. Then how? In order to build that user empathy. Conduct a survey, interview, observation, and sessions. Right? Like now, for example, if I go and uh, see, uh, say an Alzheimer's patient is there. Alzheimer's patient forgets. He goes out of the house. He goes up somewhere else. Isn't it a problem? It is a problem. Of course, the Alzheimer patient is not the end user. End user may be his family. Right? So you ask the family what to do. They say what to do. He goes up. I don't know how to track him. right so when they thought okay how to do what can be done can you put a chain and tie him no right then do you know what how they have solved this problem anyone knows gps gps tracker they have the chappal the chappal they have put sensors their shirts they have put sensors and that sensor is attached to the mobile of the mother or the family just imagine see such a beautiful thing it is isn't it similarly epilepsy epileptic patient any time he gets epilepsy and he falls off 
So you have a watch. I saw one boy who is working on it. He has a watch. Whenever he gets the shivers, the watch will give signal to his mother that he is having this. And that uh, in the mobile there is a beep which comes, which says that there is a medicine in my bag, please give. No, you, I feel very goosebumps when I think. But somebody has thought of it. You have to think that, empathize and get the problem, get the, understand the problem and get a solution. Okay. Yeah, here I am giving some examples. Dosage forms. I already told you. Dosage forms. Bitter medicine nobody wanted. Children uh, you cannot give. Right? Elderly patient forgets the medicine. Yeah, there is another one. The morning medicine I have taken, afternoon I forgot. So how did they solve this? Anyone knows? Reminder is remind Prozo you forget. This is a old, old innovation. Yeah? I know you, no? Where have I met you? No? Okay. Yeah. Smart watches? Smart watches. Old, old method. Old method. That the box used to come on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, morning, afternoon, and all. They did that. Then uh, insulin injection. You know insulin injection, the story is the person used to, a person, people used to, for insulin, say for example, we had to buy that vial. Then, no, first you have to go to the doctor. Then they made a vial you can self uh, inject. You have a subcutaneous injection. Subcutaneous injection is also very difficult. But yeah, they did that vial, some doses are there. You have to take it with the syringe and then you have to inject, uh, you have to inject it. Right? No one artist has come out with. No word is pen. No word is pen. Insulin pen. The greatest invention I would say. You can sit at home, take it, okay, anywhere, here, here, anywhere, and you have you have your solution. Right? Then uh, diagnostic test I told you. You have uh, diabetes check. I mean of course you have wearable watches, otherwise you have the diagnostic test, acute check and all that, you can do it at home only. You have now so many diagnoses, say COVID. During COVID, we, we had to go to the doctor for uh, test. Oh, now we have uh, all house kits we have. Where? What is it called? Covid. Covid. Uh, those kits are there where we can do. All those are, all those are product of empathy. You, you have to remember that. So all of us should have that empathy so that we can come up with a solution. Define. So empathy, after that define. Define means, define the problem. So, why we need to do that? Because we know we need to know what is the challenge. Fix the goal to fix. How? Have a good problem statement which is human centered. Again, now I want you to define the problems in dosage, an elderly patient, insulin, diagnostic test, inhalers. Ah, inhaler is another one. Earlier, what used to happen? Inhaler, how they used to take? And you have to go to the doctor, nebulizer. Then, Sipla came out with that inhaler. Right? Pump. You have to do. Then people used to say a morning ka dose liya, afternoon I forgot. Then what happened? Metered dose came. Sipla came out with metered dose. Right? Then children there is a problem. Children doesn't know, don't know how to take. Even elderly people, you don't, I know my mother also suffers to take that. Then what came? What came? Spacer. Spacer. Put that spacer, you put the pump. See? Understand all that. See, you have to define the problem and you have to then solve it. Solve it by having idea. How to solve this now? You have to have idea. So, for idea, what I told you, think out of box. When there is a way, this is not the only way. There may be a way here, there may be a way there. Right? And think outside the box and you are more likely to free your mind and stumble upon innovation. And use a range of ideation techniques such as body storming. You would have heard of brainstorming. What is body storming? Put your body in that and see. Feel. That's called body storming. And reverse thinking and worst possible idea. This is called divergent thinking. Think of the worst idea. Sometimes that may work. So in uh, design thinking, the uh, trick is have as many ideas as possible. Not quantity. I mean not quality. Quantity. You have thousand ideas. Work upon that and you will get a solution. You have one eye, one solution only, you can't, lucky kapati, you cannot do it. Right? So, again, think, ideate for dosage form, somebody would have done, for uh, early patient, they would have done, insulin injection, all this they would have done. 
So prototype is now, you have now, you have empathy, you have defined your problem, now you have to ideate. Yeah, and you have ideated, after that you have to prototype. Yeah, have you noticed I am putting it here, empathize, then define, ideate, prototype and test. Right? So now prototype would be what? Prototype is not your product. Prototype is something which will give you some, uh, it may be a sketch, it may be a paper, it may be anything. Right? So it will be a scaled down version of the product. Prototype gives you something tangible and prototype can be a paper model or any digital form or any diagram or anything. Say for example, dosage form from liquid to tablet to capsule to patches to nanoparticles to nasal spray. Now you have COVID vaccine as a nasal spray. Then elderly patient forgets the medicine box, pill, uh, pill box is there. And you have some pill pack, we don't have it in India, but there's a pill pack where the prescription vending machine is there. It will, you know, you have an app which will be uh, always coming with the prescription, giving you the thing and all that, giving you the uh, packets of the medicine and all. Then insulin injection, insulin pen. Uh, diagnostic test, extra check and wearable devices. Inhalers, we have, of course, I told you, meter doses as well as papers. Test now. Once you have a prototype, that is not the end of the work. You have to test and retest and retest and retest so that you have to see that it works. Right? So testing your prototype on real or representative users, see where your prototype works well and where it needs improving. Because innovation is not one step. What I said, for you had phone, phone to camera, to selfie, to smartphone, to I don't know what will come. The people say you'll have phone on your hands. Mm -hmm. Have you heard? <laughs> yes. That also may happen. Or here you will be doing something. Metaverse. Metaverse. <laughs> Metaverse is not bad. Yeah. So, how, run that testing, make changes to your design. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So, you see now these are the products I am showing you. You have that uh, capsule tablet and all. This is the pill box which was there. This is another pill box. Insulin pen. Uh, head spacer. Spacer. Then you had that uh, diabetes uh, this thing. Then this is what I was telling you. I have seen one person using it. You just put that and you can monitor your sugar for 24 hours or 48 hours or whatever. Then of course you have wearable watches. Okay, smart watches or your uh, these wearable watches. Yeah. This is another thing. Camera, I mean that camera to this. You are now, everybody has Spotify. Nobody told me about Spotify. I think all, how many of you have? So you are into Spotify. All? All. Okay. okay. No, I don't listen. I said, no, I, I like to listen to radio. Okay. So uh, you have uh, seen Prime Video. Nobody goes to theatre as one. As such, uh, people are against Salman Khan and Shahrukh Khan. <laughs> theatre is gone. You have only Amazon Prime Video. It is streaming. I know, at home we have uh, Netflix and all. My daughter says, don't say, don't see any movie. I will get all recommendations for your movies. I don't want you to see my movies. I don't want you to see my Spotify because it gives you recommendations. I know you know. So that has changed the world, changed everything. Right? So sustaining innovation it was in the beginning, which was there for a long, 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 long time. Now, in within 10 years, we are saying disruptive innovation. I think one slide was there, I have missed that. Okay, other useful innovations are, one, one with G is uh, actually you know, boasting about is mammography examination. When women go for breast cancer uh, examination, there is a fear. They don't want to go into that because they have a problem. So the whole, uh, uh, the process, they have made it so simple that it is interesting. They go. MRI for children, you just see, look for this on in the Google. MRI for children, when MRI the child goes, will be scared. Now the MRGE has made that MRI machine so, so attractive that all the children want to go there. <laughs> like going into the cave, doing some exploration or whatever. Okay. 3D printed orthotics. Orthotics is that when there is a person is having a problem in the leg or hand, so you can make a 3D prosthetic and you can give the person. Then devices for Alzheimer's patients, I told you. Okay? The devices for epileptic patients, I told you. I said, the, the, these are available. There is a shirt, I believe, which will uh, tell. If, uh, I said, watch. But there is a shirt also which will tell the person is having epilepsy. Or you have slippers which are having the sensors which will tell you uh, where the Alzheimer's patient has gone. Of course.
because if he throws that slippers, we don't know what to do. <laughs> or we see in the movies, no, movies we see, no, one pin laga diya kain pe ho in that way. Okay. So, thinking is suited to addressing a wide range of challenges. Just to, for you to see. Now, design thinking is, please agree, design thinking is human centered innovation. Is it? Yes. Design thinking is improving the life, solving the problems of diverse groups of people. Like, for example, I'll tell you, uh, one is Procter and Gamble. Procter and Gamble, I'll next slide, I'm showing that. Procter and Gamble is, uh, they are uh, experts in cleaning the broom, the pocha, the heartbreak, and all that. So they uh, hired a new group of people and asked them to do some innovation. So those people went to the people, you know, they, they went to the houses to see how people are cleaning. What do we do? We first broom, broom se jam, then we take pocha, and then we do pocha. What they did? They combined it. Wet and dry, both you can do, right? So, uh, it's solving diverse uh, groups of, uh, uh, problems of diverse groups, shifting markets and behaviors. Full shift is there. We do not know tomorrow, today we start one startup, tomorrow it is there or not, we don't know, because there would be another innovation. Right? Coping with the rapid social or market change. Social changes are also there. You know, people are, what I said, nobody goes to theaters now. Nobody listens to the music, they do uh, whatever. Then issues relating corporate culture. Corporate culture is also changing and there are so many innovations in that. We as pharmacy students are huh? Work from home. Work from home. Work from home was there. I think I don't know we call it an innovation, but we were all very happy. But then we knew there was a problem. Huh? I don't know, these are all uh, work from home uh, batch? No. Corona batch? Yeah. Maybe please. Okay. Issues relating the uh, new technology. Reinventing the business models. Do we agree? Addressing rapid change in the society, complex unsolved societal changes, entrepreneurial initiatives, educational advances. There are so many innovations even in education. I have not spoken because education at school level is different, education at college level is different. At college level also we have to think of all the things we are shared, you have to have all role models, you have to have all that, you know. So even in education we have uh, innovations. Then uh, complex uh, 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 medical breakthroughs. I told you so many medical breakthroughs are there. There are so many drugs which are coming into the market. How? One is your regular research. All of you see, you don't understand we people and me including. No, people, you'll ask why you have not done any innovation. No, I have been busy teaching and doing research. Which I thought I will do research, let somebody do the innovation. Right? But we are teaching you now to think of innovation now itself. Right? So there are so many medical breakthroughs which in an academic institution some research would be done. Industry comes, looks at it and then try to make something out of it. But now the government and all of us are thinking, why not we only do that? Right? There are problems that data cannot solve. Design thinking is one. What is design thinking? Anyone from last bench? What is design thinking? I feel I have taught, uh, told something if somebody answers. Empathy. Empathy. I will be teaching teachers. Okay. Characters of uh, design thinking go fast here. Characteristics of design thinking, human center, it is non-judgmental. We have to be non-judgmental. You cannot think that, oh, why we should do for that. Right? Non-judgmental and ambiguous. Ambiguous also. It should not, ambiguous means what? It will be very obvious. Right? Then trouble, it should be a troublemaker and rule breaker. I tell all my students, of course, you trouble in my class, I will trouble you. But <laughs> be a troublemaker means what? Ask a question. I am teaching you a topic. Ask a question. Why this topic? What is the use of this? Can it not be like this? But then you do it with your teachers. I don't know what they will do. Because one thing is we are all semester system. We, we are running against time. But then what I want you to do is from now onwards think. 
think have the trouble maker or rule breaker attitude so that you can think new so design thinking is that if everybody was doing same thing we would have gone in the same bullet cart and all no 1980 when uh, computer was coming everybody was against why computer why computer but now you see where we are right so trouble maker and uh, rule breaker is one of the characteristics of design thinking then finding right problem through curiosity this is another thing that you have to have curiosity everything you have to have a curiosity see you are looking under the microscope you see people say c xylem z flow flow m okay xylem flow m. what is something else if you find probably you learn something new maybe you will de develop something new correct then it is multidisciplinary and collaborative without that you cannot do empathy and holistic and iterative means repetitive you develop you you ideate you create you test and then again if you find the test is wrong again you ideate create and test again you ideate create and test that is called iterative so another word i have to So design thinking plays a role in creating a delightful end-to-end -end customer experience. I'll give you one example. Business is continuously reinventing. Use Uber disrupted the transport industry. Do we agree? Then, oh yeah, this is another one. Airbnb. How many of you know about this? Yes. How? What do you do? Um, Airbnb provides the facility just like hotel, like homestay. Yes. So hotel industry is gone because of Airbnb. Mm -hmm. How many of you have never heard of Airbnb? So Airbnb is one. There were two people. It seems they were looking for getting some money. So what they did was, so we will rent our room for anybody who wants to take it for one week. So they put an advertisement and they said, our room is furnished. You want to stay? We'll give you water, electricity, everything. So people were happy. They don't want to go to the hotel and have that home environment, home food, and all that. Maybe not, it's not a paying guest, but for some time. Right, so that was done. And one, they, was, they were successful. Everybody said, "Hey, we also want to rent our house." Okay, like this. Now you see, there is an app. Airbnb will. You are going to say, "You are going to." I am going to Cochin next Sunday. Cochin, I am going. I will not look for hotel. I will see whether Airbnb is there or not. Or foreign country, especially when you are going for a week and all that. You can go stay somewhere. Right. So that has become an app. So the hotel industry is gone now. Airbnb. Has disrupted the hospitality industry by upgrading a simple idea of room sharing into a well-designed website and a mobile app. Okay, so these enterprises testify that having innovative ideas isn't enough. You have idea, okay, you can do this and all. You sit on this, no, nothing. It has to end. It has to capitalize on that idea, help in exceptional design, and intuitive user experience are the key to the success. So uh, this is the example.